Hey guys, it's Larry from LRS. We're here with Dexter Hill, the owner of Tried Reef Critters in Greensboro, North Carolina, which is my local fish store. And he stopped by today to show us his newest invention that's going to market. It's called Dexter's Dividers. Before we go in depth into what it is, let me just show you real quick how this simple solution works. You can take any aquarium, currently they're making these in various sizes, put this divider in there wherever you want it, use a couple fingers, push down, and now you have a divider. And this thing is strong. I mean, it's not going anywhere. So it's available and perforated like that or solid. So you can put this in the aquarium and cut it whatever height you need to make your water level for your skimmer. So it's a fantastic design, patent pending, and Dexter's come by to ask us to help roll this out to our customer base. So I'm happy to be a distributor of this. Top bar? And oh yeah, top bar. When the top bar snaps in place, Nothing can get over top. Once you put your lid on here or your screen, if you're dealing with reptiles, it keeps everything separated. So it's a fantastic idea. I'm happy to roll this out to our customer base. But why don't you tell us more about how this started and how you came up with the idea? Okay. So for many years, we uh, had fish that were incompatible that created conflict. And customers were bringing fish back saying, my fish died and it's all beat up with its fins and stuff. So we knew there was a reason to separate species. And so we built these dividers to actually use in our store so we could get in the shipment one week maybe where we didn't need a divider and then the next week we would need to divide the aquarium in two or three places so even with or without water in them we could put these dividers in. We also noticed that the only thing available on the market at that time was some little flimsy little dividers that you cut with scissors and put in there and they lasted weeks, months, maybe you'd get a year out of them but they just didn't hold up. So we actually uh, started making dividers with some suction cups and found out that well they don't work either because over time they'll harden and next thing you know your clownfish comes over here and the lionfish you got over here decides he needs a quick meal. Uh, also with the babies that were not working good for breeders because the same thing the babies could go through and a lot of people were interested in these dividers for uh, raising and breeding fish. So with this silicone strip we got here now that goes all the way through, it's a quarter inch thick, it's, uh, it's just dense enough to where it holds rigidly but it's also soft enough to where it doesn't really push the sides of the glass out. So as Larry was showing you, it just really locks in place tightly. So in addition to using it for fish, we were visiting the, some of the pet shows and stuff around recently and I was telling Larry about this the other day that people at Global Pet was in, on the uh, reptile side was like, oh my gosh, we need that in the reptile industry. Yeah, it's a great aquatic product, but reptiles is perfect. The thing about the dividers is if you want to set up a, a second tank or even a sep separate reptile situation, you got to have two lights, you got to have two heaters, you got to have two filters, but with the divider you can use just one. That's, that's pretty good and I've already talked to a couple clownfish breeders and they said heck yeah I've showed them the, the photographs and they said it's something that they're definitely interested in and I saw it at your store where a perfect example you know your store is set up with probably dozens of these we were there yesterday but unfortunately it was too back too background head the noise was too heavy in the background so the video didn't come out as great but I've got footage shown in the store how they've got it set up so when they get their livestock in they can keep things segregated without having to set up additional tanks so I think there's a great use for this in a store setting for the store, but also with clownfish breeders. Um, and I just see it a great for people that are going to a DIY sump because they can take this baffle and make the order level where they want it. So I'm real excited to roll it out. Um, beauty of it is it'll be on the wholesale portal and because of the size of these dividers, they're going to be able to go right in that flat box that we piggyback currently with dry food on top of our cooler. This could just drop right in there. So if you want to order one as a store, you can get one to try it out. Uh, we'll have these starting probably the end of next week on the portal. So just as a quick summary, it, it really is the perfect dividing solution because it allows you to separate fish for breeding purposes. You can separate incompatible species. You can have a reef aquarium on this side and your predator fish on this side. Uh, you can use it for furry critters. You can use it for reptiles. It's just got a lot of applications and because we really use these quality products, I'm going to Larry yeah. show them how strong oh, yeah. It's, um, and this, I mean, is 100%, it's this is 100 percent made at your LFS in the back. Yes, everything's so fabricated right here in the triad area, so it's a American-made product. It's a designed to last as long as the other components of the aquarium. So this is a one-time purchase, uh, and the warranty and all that other information will be on the back of the belly band. So it's got my name on it. Uh, we stand behind it just like Larry does his product. And when you buy this product, you'll know that it's going to last your lifetime. Again, if it don't, we, for any reason, we stand behind it. Okay, so people are watching, what do we have available right now? What, what sizes am I going to have? Okay, you're going to launch next week, you're going to launch the 10 gallon, the 20 long, and the 40 breeder. And then we've already heard people asking for the little five and a halves, 
the 55s, yeah. the 30 breeders, the 75s, and the 90s, and then we'll go from there. Yeah, and in your store, you've got a whole beta, beta fish tank display set up with, what, four dividers or three? Yeah, I put three dividers in it, which gives you four spaces. So uh, We took a 10-gallon aquarium and, and made four perfect um, beta aquariums, yeah. each one of them unique and different. Yeah, and I'll have a picture of that at the end of this video. We'll put some still photos that we were able to capture. So I'm excited about it. I'm really excited about the opportunity. Um, like I said, I bought my first clownfish from Dexter, NJJ, you know, and started my first 90-gallon reef aquarium. You know, so thanks to him, I ended up with 600 gallons of aquariums in short order. And then the food came around, and he ended up being the first store to carry the food as well. So Yeah, we've been friends for quite a while. And uh, for any of you that haven't met Larry yet, he and Veronica are good people. So great friends of ours. I appreciate I it, appreciate it, Larry. I'm Thank looking you, forward, looking forward to it.